as a father, I can't turn my son in. Now, if you got him, I could talk to him and tell him right from wrong then, but I can't give my son to you. I wouldn't give him in to you. You got to do your job. That's your job to go get him. And my job is to be a father and protect him. Hmm. Now, I'm going to tell him what he wrong, get behind closed doors. I'm going to tell him everything he did wrong. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't have pulled that trigger. When they catch you, you're going to be fucked. We're going to have to sit down and do this time. Mm -hmm. They about to burn your ass, boy. You fucked up big time. But I'm not calling 911 and turning them in. I'm not giving my son up. Mm -hmm. You got to do your job. His job is not to get caught, and your job is to catch him. Mama My took job that, is to take care of Mama me. took that nigga down there, that white boy, said, son, turn yourself in. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they go, yeah, my mom made that, made my brother go turn himself in. Bishop. Hold on. I got him to turn himself in for the case that he was in it for. Yeah. I got him to turn himself in for that case and his own Adele case. Because yeah. at the end of the day, I felt like you about to go sign a deal, you about to get busy, everything about to go. Go turn, that's little shit. Go turn yourself in, get it out the way. You know what I mean? I didn't know nothing about the, the, the homicide thing until after he died. Yeah, I was but just about, if, I was just about yeah, to say, you didn't. Yeah, you, I didn't know until after you so died. So you had, you just was, you hearing about things, right? Just like all of our parents, boy, I heard you. And, and so, no, no, no. You don't get no definite paperwork on your son to after his death. I've never, ever heard of a murder case, and I've been dealing with his lawyers and everything. I got correspondence on my phone from his lawyers right now. I've never, ever heard of a murder case until my son got killed and I sat in front of the mayor and he pushed me this paper and said, look, because when he, when he said it to me, I'm like, man, my son ain't had no murder case. You bugging. I know every charge my son had, had since he caught his first charge. I know. I've been there. He slid me the paper face to face and I read it. So now we got two options. One, he lying and forging paper and if he did that, I'm going to bust his ass. Or two, my son is a murderer. And three, your son's best friend is in jail for on a murder case. K Flop? Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, my son's best friend. Oh. Uh, see, the reason I'm asking you questions, homie, uh, it, your, your son kind of like Tuka in, in, in my story. Mm. I didn't know nothing about Tuka. Mm -hmm. I just saw him somewhere in a documentary walking by in somebody's living room. Mm. I saw your son's story on all the blogs, social media, and then I saw it on the, on, on the news conference. So that's when I learned that, that drill music is now a, a scene in New York, and all mm -hmm. the young niggas is drilling in New York. And so that's when I started. That's how I got hip to your son. Yeah. So uh, from, you know, they said, you know, uh, mm -hmm. little nigga was a stepper. Yeah. Uh, you know, he the... He the he the King Von in the crew. You know, he go kick up the dust. You know, he he the go-to man. Uh, so, but when you peel the layers back, he ain't none of that. He ain't none of that. No. He ain't none of that. Mm -mm. Uh, that's why I say we got to peel the layers back on these homies. Yeah. Because because if, if everywhere he he went and, and and he's reminded man this really ain't you see what I'm saying that's what being in that institution is every mm -hmm. time he go back he's reminded yeah. he really ain't that mm -hmm. the the culture lets you be the bullshit are only to destroy you mm -hmm. he got killed by his own kind mm -hmm. his people uh. So now what they saying? Do, are they smoking on your son in New oh, York? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh heavy, heavy, heavy. I, my thing is. Oh, so you going through it too, huh? Man, see, I'm a different type of parent though. You smoking on my son, I, right. I disrespect yours. I disrespect everything that you love. See, it, it's different when everybody gonna do the smoking thing. I know that because that's what they do. But when you was in the field with him, it hit different with me. It bothered me different. You know what I mean? If you if you was in a field with my son, nine out of ten, you wouldn't have said that if he was on. You wouldn't even play with my son like that. But it hit different. You know what I mean? It's, it, it, when them little trolls or the little young boys or something rap and say it, it don't really hit nothing. You don't even know my son. So that that that's what I was gonna ask you mm -hmm. earlier. Uh, how, how how do you reconcile daily uh, with the anger, uh, the pain, the hurt? evidence, the information, uh, and the and and the knowledge of who possibly could have killed your son. Uh how how, how do you reconcile that every day, homie? 
I got a nine-year-old at home, and she had this problem called Mars, mess with your eyes. She went blind for like four or five days, and it killed me. And she said to me, Daddy, I'm going to be all right. God got me. Just hold my hand and don't let me fall. Mm. And she mm. kicked back, and when she kicked back, I realized that there is somebody up there because I was losing faith in them. And when I seen that, I realized, you know, you get up every morning, you breathing. That's enough to be thankful for. My son ain't here breathing. A lot of us got people gone. They ain't breathing no more. So I get up and I ask them, listen, man, I don't know what you want me to do today. You left something for me to fuck with. You gave me something to do. What you want me to do today, man? And sometimes I get this pop up and I go do it. Like hitting you up. You know what I'm saying? He told me that. Yeah. He told me to. Yeah, you know out, of, out of 300 messages, I don't know how I found yours. Yeah. Mm. Out, out of 300 mm. messages, I don't know how I found Yo, yours. He, he tell me, he tell me that sometimes I get up and, he, and it's nothing that I can do. And then my day be sh I stay in the house. But it's days I get up and he'll tell me, do this. Do it like this. Do it like that. Do it like this. And then I, I just do it. And that's how I cope with it. I, I, I make myself believe that one day he's going to call me and say, yo, I was just playing. I'm in Miami. Damn. Well, you know how many mothers out of her say that? How many parents and buried kids out of her say that? You psych yourself out. You got to. That's the only way. You got to psych yourself out. Yeah, you got to mm. make yourself. You got to play on your own mentality. My mama always said, I can always go see that boy. Yeah. The other parent can't go see theirs. I can always go see him. Mm-hmm. If nothing else, I can go see that. Uh, the other parent won't ever get that. So she meant she was always reminded of that. Mm -hmm. uh, you said he was 17, 18? He was 17 when he got killed. He was about to turn 18. He got killed. What's that? Yeah, Three baby face. Little, man, little old baby face, man. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about he look like babies. It's like babies. Uh, uh, it's a, that's just weird, and, man. And he, and he the face of New York drill rap uh, because of his death. Uh, that's how that's how I got that's how I became a world. Yeah, he he he's the face of it. Uh and they all babies. The crazy thing is 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 many before him and as many after. And that's the thing. He lost so many friends before him. It's crazy. Thirteen years old, a little young boy that he lost, one of his friends. Thirteen. Well, well I tell everybody, uh the New York the New York drill scene is, is ten times worse. Uh yeah. you know, uh, because of the infrastructure in New York. Uh, Think it's worse than Chicago? Yeah. It's 10 times. It's going to be 10 times worse. Our city ain't equipped to hold switches and AR-15s and AK-47s. And you talking about in a strict gun state. Yeah. Uh, that's a nightmare. Yeah. 